Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. And um, so today, I wanted to talk about some news that's hitting on uh, one of my favorite games to play. And if you follow me on my other channel, you pretty much know what game that is. If not, it is Pokemon Go. I love playing this game. And um, it is a game that I've been playing for some time now. Now, while some people may question, what is a guy who's 37 years old doing playing Pokemon Go? Let me tell you guys, I've been a big fan of Pokemon since I was a kid. On top of that, Pokemon Go basically is a game that you venture out into your city, your area, the world, um, to not only catch Pokemon, but to raid battle, um, do special researches, and then on top of that, take the Pokemon that you've caught, who has the best IVs, and battle against other trainers, which is super cool. So... For me, being type 2 diabetic, this is a game that I love to play that gets me out there going and moving. So, if you guys haven't heard, recently they just launched news talking about the Go Battle League and that it's starting to roll out. Now, if you've launched your game and you haven't seen it yet, um, don't fret. Basically, it's rolling out by phase. So, um, level 40's obviously got it first and it trickles down to the lower levels a little by little just until like they make sure that like all the bugs and everything is pretty much worked out. So I'm level 37 in the game. Um, I just saw that I had that I had it a couple days ago. But anyways, so here's the news on it. If you guys didn't know, I'll read it out verbatim. It says the Go Battle League has started rolling out. This was two days ago. Uh, the Go Battle League is on its way. This week, the Go Battle League will start gradually becoming available to trainers based on trainer level. Game features are rolled out in this fashion in order to maintain stability. A launch, or at launch, the first preseason of the Go Battle League will kick off. So this is not even the full season that um, I'm currently playing in and others that are level 40 and, and under are playing in right now. It's the preseason, so your wins and losses are going to reset when the full season comes out. So that's okay. Um, make sure you're subscribed to receive push notifications to find out when the feature will become available to everyone. In celebration of the release of Go Battle League, your first set of Go Battle, Battle Leagues is on us, so you won't need to walk five kilometers to try it out. Uh, follow our social channels after the, the feature rolls out this week to stay up to date as the preseason progresses and share your favorite battle moments with the hashtag Go Battle. Now trainers, let's go battle. And it's got a hyperlink to the blog there, so you guys can go check that out. Now, to know if you do have it, um, when you launch Pokemon Go and you see your avatar on the map and you hit the Pokeball, you'll now see that it looks different. The menu screen, it actually has five bubbles there. On the top left, you have Pokedex. Bottom left, you have Pokemon. Uh, top right, you have the Battle League. And below that's items, and Shop is in the middle. And then when you hit Battle, this is what you're pretty much greeted with. And it shows your wins and losses, as you guys can see. I pretty much suck right now. <laughs> I only have two wins out of five battles, so I've lost three times. I've been defeated three times. It shows your progress to unlock another set of Go Battle matches. You um, After five kilometers, you earn uh, five matches. So basically, it's like one kilometer per match. Um, and you can do that basically twice a day. So you can uh, get, I think, like 10 or 15 in one day. Um, so it depends on how much you walk. Because I don't think anyone really, really one walks beyond 10 kilometers a day. Uh, but underneath that, you'll see nearby battle with your scanner code. So if you know someone else that's nearby playing Pokemon Go and you guys want to battle, just scan your, your QR code to battle each other. And underneath that now is training where you can train against the three uh, team leads. So Blanche, uh, Candela, and Spark. Um, off to the right, if you swipe to the right or tap all of where it says uh, party. It shows your party uh, that you can build for Great League, Ultra League, Master League, and then of course you can build parties for gyms and raids. So that's where, so now it's all conveniently in one area that has to do with battling. It's not spread it out like it was before, because I believe before it used to be where when you see the, the Pokemon on the radar, then you would see like, you know, raids, which is to the right, and then to the left it'd be a party, which you would build your party for battle. So, um, anyhow, so there is a site that you can go to if you're not, if you haven't been doing a lot of PVP and you're not familiar with it because it seems like with Pokemon Go, it's kind of branched off from those people who, who play to catch and raid and community day. And then there's like a whole separate group that's just strictly PVP. And if you haven't been playing PVP for, you know, for a year now, you're not too sure of, um, you know, like what the best Pokemon are, um, best counters, best defenses, best attackers. 
Um, there is a site called PV Pokey. I will put the link in the description of this video. And you can pretty much see as, you know, Pokemon come out with, uh, with feature movesets and things like that, it will update and show you, like, you know, who are the better attackers, um, you know, for PvP. And then that way you can, so, you know, choose to go with those Pokemon um, and just kind of like, you know, build them up for whichever league that you want to battle them in. Or if you are a specific set type Pokemon collector, then you can work on yours to have certain movesets so that way they are pretty good when it comes to PvP battle and you got a good fighting chance um, to compete against other Pokemon Go battlers. So um, that, I think it's pretty interesting. It's actually cool. I mean, honestly, let's get real here. I think people would have wanted the Go Battle League just to um, give you like 15 battles a day without having to do a lot of walking. But again, Pokemon Go is based on you getting up and going somewhere. So walking is the key to this game. It is the key to earning things in this game. And you know what? You can always go to a park in the evening time when you have some downtime, or even if you're at work and you're on your hour lunch break, you can go to a, like a park or a nearby place and just walk and earn those kilometers uh, while playing the game. So, I mean, it shouldn't really be too big of a deal, but I know some people were just like, why don't they just give us 15 free battles a day and um, give us passes to buy if we want to do more than that. I mean, the, you know, that's the whole point. The game is to be slightly addicting so that way you get up and you move. That was the whole point of it. Anyways, guys, um, so yeah, you can go to PV, uh, PV Poke and look up to see what the best attackers are currently at this point. I do believe that Registeel jumped up pretty high on this point right now for, I think it's Great League? Let's see. Um, Yeah, for Great League. So Registeel is pretty much up there. Um, Skorami is pretty good that I know of. And I think uh, Hariyama and um, Deoxys Defense. Because those are the ones that I set up in my party as to be like my first wave and second wave are uh, those. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, definitely look into that so you guys can set up your Pokemon just right for PvP battle. And when you guys go out there and you guys battle and you guys you know win prizes and, and earn Stardust and things like that, it brings a whole different dynamic to the game itself. And um, I just, I think it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to kind of share that bit of information with everybody out there. If you guys enjoyed my video, smash that like button to let me know. Uh, link in the description to PV Poke so you guys can get up to date with uh, PVP battles and best attackers, defenses, and things like that. Those you really want to really look at. And if you don't know what IVs are, don't worry. I will make a video explaining what IVs are or individual values is what it stands for. I will explain that in another video. Or you can just find however many Pokemon Go players on YouTube have already covered that subject, but I'm still gonna make a video talking about it uh, later on down the road. But anyways, uh, thanks for checking out my video, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.